Hey, uh, you guys remember that video I just did on attack speed being broken? Turns out it's not actually broken, but rather just functions unintuitively by having a hard cap in place for hits per second in order to preserve animation integrity and some other game programming technicality mumbo jumbo. Also, this cap is not the same for each survivor and can even differ across multiple abilities on the same survivor, which is why the testing got a little bit wacky. Cool, right? That's not why you're seeing this video. No, 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 no. Do you remember why I made the original video? If not, that's perfectly fine. Allow me to jog your memory. Suppressive fire can be used to briefly gain a burst of procs, but it should be noted, as a double tap always has a faster fire rate, it is more effective to constantly fire double tap for procs instead. As double tap always has a faster fire rate. Well, directly after my video went live, literally within 10 minutes, sure enough, that exact line was sent to the Shadow Realm by a fine, upstanding wiki editor. Why, thank you, my good sir. Quite exquisite. Inevitably, the misleading information is gone. Or so I thought. Uh, this line, this simple, beautiful, just elegant line of text took the place of its fallen brethren. Owing the way to suppressive fire functions, it is overall a DPS down when compared to double tap and is consistently so even with additional attack speed. Man, don't you just love it when statements are presented as facts with literally no evidence to back them up, even when the diametrically opposed viewpoint has said hard evidence to support it? <laughs> Welcome to the internet, baby. Woohoo! Thankfully, there is a little more hope than that for the Risk of Rain 2 wiki, as only a few days later, this statement received some clarification. Due to the end lag of Suppressive Fire and the way both Suppressive Fire and Double Tap scale with attack speed, Suppressive Fire has generally lower DPS compared to constantly firing Double Tap and is consistently so even with additional attack speed. This is not the case if any cooldown reducing items are in place. Okay, the vague phrase of owing the way to how it functions was instead replaced by a simple term end lag. Ah, shoot, here we go again. After using Suppressive Fire, there is indeed a short duration after the attack finishes so end lag, or you cannot resume attacking with double tap. The end lag after suppressive fire is a static duration, meaning it cannot be reduced despite the amount of attack speed you may have. Also, the end lag is very close to half a second long, but I didn't bother testing the exact duration this time around for reasons you will soon find out. Okay, Wiki, you ain't looking too shabby right now. And a few days after that, um, clarification, another line was added as further evidence. Trust me, all of these verbal air quotes are about to make a whole lot of sense. Suppressive fire's attack and attack animation cannot be cancelled or exited early, preventing the player from using other skills. Frag grenades do too, but since the animation is only the tossing, it generally doesn't interrupt as much. The same could be said for phase blast, where it locks the player into an animation as well, but only lasts for a very brief period and such barely affects damage output. Hey, thanks for adding that extra info to make it seem like the previous statement has been held to some degree of scrutiny, instead of literally just being pulled out of thin air. I actually appreciate that a ton. Oh wait, I'm just kidding, look at this. <laughs> is that is that a cancel I just saw right there? Whoa! <laughs> That's insane, bro! How'd you do that? I read the wiki. That's literally not possible. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, you're not supposed to be able to do that. What are you doing? Not only can suppressive fire's end lag be canceled, but the entire cast can be canceled at every single point in time. That makes this statement complete BS and also makes this one absolutely positively, undoubtedly incorrect. You can straight up cancel suppressive fire and the end lag at any point, period. And before your mouse starts zooming over to make some wiki edits, um, but actually, Wooly, the only method of cancellation is get behind a cooldown and thus suppressive fire is actually less dead. Both phase round and phase blast have a cooldown of three seconds. They also both cancel suppressive fire. Uh, what was suppressive fire's cooldown again? Oh, right. Remember in the original video, I proved that suppressive fire out DPS's double tap at every point in a run from zero to tens of thousands of attack speed. The edits that I've just went over in this video were made to directly counter my proof and the evidence that they used was, uh, you know, end lag is a thing, right? Does this guy even play the game? Yes. Yes, I do. I didn't even bother covering end lag in the first video because if you're actually playing Commando, at least playing him efficiently, end lag should rarely, if ever, be experienced in the first place. But while you're saying to always hold at least one charge of your secondary in order to cancel your special early, and that's a contradiction to playing efficiently and you're spreading misinformation, and it's okay to be wrong. The game is not a spreadsheet. You should try playing it sometime. Hmm, I've got this feeling to make a dedicated video on the wiki. Let me know if you want that to be a reality. Thank you for watching and go have fun playing some Risk of Rain 2. Or continue to make spreadsheets that you think accurately reflect the game. Yeah, no, potato, potato.